So I know you, you get taut right around here. Mm -hmm. Bring your right ear to your right shoulder. Does that make it worse? Yeah, it does. If I release here, does that make it better? Yes. <laughs>
as you bend your head that direction. Uh, so, ugly. You, so you're probably experiencing some tension in one of your fingers. Where is it? Pinky and ring finger. Okay, so make sure your head is truly bending that way as you bring your head back. Try not to let it dip. I know that, that increases your tension. So, yep, and follow. It goes through my hand now. Yep. So it's really common as you're doing this, you're gonna probably experience in some sort of pulling, uh, numbness in the digits, maybe even your forearm as you're doing it. That, that's okay while it's happening. Uh, we're more interested in what happens after. Um, and I wouldn't expect any miracles in the first set or two, but the idea is after you do, you know, four, five, six sets of 10, the tension should begin to ease up and uh, the symptoms that you're feeling in your fingers and forearm, that they should begin to alleviate. Um, but just for the sake of folks at home who might be experiencing some pain in the top of their forearm or in this inside part of their forearm and down to their pinky, I'll show you what an ulnar and a radial floss looks like. So let's set up for the ulnar. Put your hand up just the same. Pinky out, excellent. Same as with the median, I want you to extend your head away. And as you bend your head into the same side and extend your elbow, flex the wrist down. Nice. And you don't have any, any tension there at all, right? Because no. you're in good shape. So once again, this is the move that you would be doing at the same prescription as before. Sets of 10, four or five sets at a time. And you would do this throughout the day, potentially three or four times. Um, in the very last one, it's, it's, it's gonna be the floss for your radial nerve, which is where you bring your hand up like this. Head is bent away, same direction as the hand is pointing. And then as you internally rotate and extend your elbow, you're gonna bend your head into the same side. If you have tension in your radial nerve, you're probably gonna feel a pretty strong pull across the top of your forearm there where your radial nerve emerges. Um, but once again, if you don't have tension there, you might not have a problem. So I'll, I'll just say this, the catch all, if you're having any sort of symptoms in your upper extremity and you don't know where to start, start with the median nerve, okay? Start with the one where you're 90, extended, been away, in. Um, okay guys, I hope that helped. Uh, we'll, we'll do a video on the manual therapy of this later. Thanks so much for watching.